Okay, so this is just a very quick video. Um, I want to talk about um, the new Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He was sworn in today in New Delhi, um, within the last few hours actually, um, and uh, he has already made some historic uh, moves. Um, the guests of honour, I believe there was eight Asian, other Asian leaders present at his inauguration. The guest of honour was Nawaz Sharif, the Pakistani Prime Minister. Um, apparently this is the first time, according to the BBC, that um, um, there has been such a meeting at that sort of event since partition. So if that's the case, that's certainly very historic. Um, and I do give Narendra Modi credit for that move. Um, Pakistan, for its part, has released a number of Indian uh, fishermen who were being held over territorial a territorial dispute. Um, I hope these moves can improve Indo-Pakistani relations. Certainly, there's few countries on earth that have been at loggerheads for as long as India and Pakistan have. So, any moves that will ease tensions, any moves that will be um, in goodwill have to be welcomed. So I give uh, both leaders credit for that. Um, also, uh, the Modi cabinet apparently has more women and more young MPs than ever before ministers. So that's also a good thing. Um, so, so far, Mr Modi seems to be making some good steps. Um, and I think it will be interesting to see what, what comes in the following years. It's way, way, way too early to use this to judge what his premiership is going to be like but I do give him credit for these important steps um, you know peace lasting peace between India and Pakistan would be one of the world's big big success stories if that was to happen um, but like so many long lasting conflicts it's important not to be complacent as anything can happen nevertheless this is good news it should be welcomed and it is a historic day um, Narendra Modi is the 15th Indian Prime Minister. Um, he represents the BJP party. And uh, yeah, it's a historic day.